just making this video to talk about my boyfriend and I's Mazda Bongo. So I decided to make this video because when my boyfriend and I were looking to convert our bongo, which at the time was a minibus, we found it really difficult um, to find out any different layouts or anyone who self-built a bongo before. So I thought it would be nice to show everyone what we've done um, and yeah, just give you a bit of a rant all around papaya. We used our bongo to go traveling around Europe for six months the reason why we decided to convert the bongo ourselves rather than buying one pre-made is simply we wanted a bit of a project and a bit of a challenge um, but also obviously it saves a lot of money so people will charge three, four grand for a van conversion and we like that we've been able to add our own little touches like the rainbow worktop and we've kept like the plywood showing and we put like, gate hinges on it. Um, so it looks a bit more rustic and a bit more unusual, so we really liked that we were able to do that. And it made it even more special while we were away. So, you know, we knew where everything was, we knew where all the fuses were, if anything went wrong, although it didn't. So, you know, we know how the diesel heater works, we know where the gas bottle is, we know how to change the gas bottle. Um, we know that the gas is installed safely as well. So, yeah, it was just nice to know where everything was. And we also got to add lots more storage in than most of the other bongos, so we made like quite a deep cupboard. It was good for six months travelling. My boyfriend Reese did the joinery in the van, so he put down the flooring um, and he built all the cabinets and put the rock and roll bed in there as well. And my job was to uh, do the electrics and install the di diesel heater. I painted all the wood and stained all the wood. There is a split charger in there which um, trickle charges the leisure battery from the car battery. So the fridge that we chose was an Alpicool. We found it to be an excellent compressive fridge for the, a reasonable price. I think they're also under the name of Icebox, um, but the one that we bought was a 24 litre Alpicool and that goes all the way down to minus 12 or something crazy like that. We just left it in eco mode and kept it about four or five degrees. So electrical wise, I'm really happy with how everything's working. The only thing that I would change is the battery. So we went with a 60 pound battery from eBay. It did start off working perfectly, but we just ran it down too often. We used it to jumpstart the van once as well when uh, we left the lights on for a few hours and came back and the car battery was dead. So we used it to jumpstart the car battery, which you're not supposed to do. I would recommend an AGM battery. I think you can pick them up for about 120 pounds and that will fit in the area that we've got. There's a perfect space under the bonnet for leisure batteries, but don't go for a 60 pound eBay one. So another reason that we're making this video is that sadly Papaya the Bongo is going up for sale. We want to get a bigger van, we're looking at Fiat Ducatos or maybe a Mercedes Sprinter and we're going to convert that because even though she's absolutely fantastic, especially going down some really tiny Italian country roads, um, yeah it's just we want something bigger now that we can have a toilet and a shower in. We do keep an eye out in the description below, we'll put a link up to the adverts. Um, so if you're interested obviously please feel free to get in touch. But otherwise just enjoy this video for a video van tour of Papaya. Okay so this is Papaya the Bongo in person. Okay, so as it's a self-build, we did do the window tints ourselves. So there were a few marks, but we did the best that we could. Okay. Show you the back one as well. But we were pretty happy. It did the job that we needed when we were traveling um, to not let see people see in the back. The electrics for the inside the van we have a car battery there and we installed a split charger which you can see just in there and that goes to the leisure battery so that means when you're driving it trickle charges when the car battery is at full charge it will trickle charge 
to the leisure battery and then you can it goes into the van and you can have your lights on and charge your phone and do whatever you like and have the fridge on and um, we also have a solar panel which attaches to this leisure battery so if you're staying somewhere for a few days you can just clip that on and have the solar panel out in the front um this leisure battery as I said before, it does need changing. It's a 60 pound one from eBay and yeah, it, it's not lasted very well. So I would recommend getting an AGM battery. Okay, and then um, the wire from the leisure battery comes through the car and then it all meets here, which is a fuse box and a control panel. So that's just in the cupboard. This is a cupboard that we use for our clothes. So this is in the back. Um, so yeah, everything's there, all your fuses are inside these little things here. And I'll show you that from the front. So this is the control panel. So we have the fresh water pump for your running water from the sink. We have the blower. <laughs> we couldn't find a sticker for heater, so we just put a sticker for blower, but that's for the diesel heater. Um, and then we have this for the fridge, which we leave on because you want cold food all the time. So yeah. Um, and this is a sink with running water, so you've got your tap there, and to turn it on, you just come to the fresh water pump here, and click that switch, and you have running water. And that is um, done via an electric water pump, so it's a submersive one, so you literally just drop the water pump in the bottle, so we've got this. Um, you drop the water pump in there and that pulls the water up and into the tap. For the lighting, um, what we did was get some USB fairy lights and put them, I sewed them up actually. So I used some silver, silver thread and sewed it. If you can see. There we go, that's how I did it. Um, yeah, I think it makes a quite a nice atmosphere in here. And we also have this light, so you can literally just leave that on um, for a bit of extra light and then, because it's solar, solar powered, so powered by the sun through the window. So if you need extra light, you can use that one as well. We also put lights inside the cupboard, so when it's dark at night, you can still see inside the cupboard. So this is our gas box which is made from plywood and Reese has sealed it with um, silicone and it's a camping gas gas bottle so that means you can use it all around Europe and you can actually replace them so I think it's in nearly every country around Europe um, so yeah they're easy to replace. Turn it on and off you use this here and that turns the gas on and off and we put it in this easy to access area so you can turn it off after every time you use the cooker um, and this gas box is sealed so when you put the door on it clasps tight shut here and seals it all and then there is a hole that goes out here and that's because gas is heavier than air so if there was a gas leak for any reason um, the gas would fall out through the bottom and we also have a carbon monoxide alarm, so that will detect if um, there's a gas leak. So this is both a hob and a grill. So you've got your top burners there, and then you have your grill underneath. Um, and the little grill pan is in here. So you can put your grill pan. And that just goes in there. So you can grill your toast and everything. So we got a swivel seat installed by New Dawn Conversions. I took it to Birmingham. Um, they're the ones that actually designed the Mazda Bongo swivel seat. So this is Reese just showing you now how the swivel seat works. So as you see, it's two rods that go in it. You have to unscrew one. And anyone with a bongo thinking of getting a swivel seat, I would definitely recommend it because it came in so handy when we were away. So you pull it up and then you turn it round, then push it back in and then you put the rods back in. 
push them all the way. Because this is a mid-engine, you can't get a normal silver seat in, so that's why um, New Dawn Conversions had to design one for the bongo. As you can see, there's a swivel seat. I'll show you from this angle as well. And there we go. So it adds loads more space into the bongo. Come in the back so you can see. So I can sit all the way over here. And then Reese used to be over there. So yeah, it adds loads more space. So this also has electric blinds. Can I do this one as well? Yeah. I'll show you this side too. Let's see. I've also um, made these for every window, so to be honest, we used to just use these more than the electric blinds themselves. So we've got one for every single window, and we also have some. Um, proper ones for the front and the back, so some Mazda Bongo <laughs> custom made window things, insulator. So, yeah, we used to use them all the time, put them all the way around. Got one for the back as well, but we've also got curtains. Another thing that we added as well, which turned out pretty handy, um, was this curtain. <laughs> so, this actually came with the van. I'm not sure, I think they used it as a blanket before, but from the people that had her before so we've just put velcro and you can literally just stick it up um, so say you want a quick nap on the side of the road and you don't want to put the all the insulation things up on the window you can just pop the curtain up and go for a nap and it's also quite nice I think because it separates the back of the van to the cab so you feel like you're not necessarily sleeping in a van when you've got that up so it's very nice so to get the pop top up you turn the engine on and there is a button just there so you click open so I'll come outside and show you the roof going up I think having a pop top is just fantastic for when you're parking up even for a few hours you want to cook you can just and it's raining outside like it is now you could just get in and stand up and cook so I think that's fab and we do have a rip in the flight net on this pop top so yeah that needs sorting out but otherwise it's a pretty good pop I think for a 25 year old van to have an electric pop top is so cool we were impressed when we got it <laughs> But yeah, I'll show you how it's in, it is inside as well. And how much space. So you have this bit, so you just come in, push this up, and that's just on some like struts there. And you have so much space around here. So we used to like stick all our clothes and bedding up here. Um, and I'm standing up right now, so, and then you could just stand and cook and wash your dishes so yeah and this table as well is removable so Reese is just showing you now you just flip these underneath there pull it up and take it off okay, and then to put the bed down you just put these crocodile clips underneath there and then pull it out There we go. Rock and roll beds out. And this also does have seat belts. So you can take passengers. So in the back here we have the little diesel can for the diesel heater. And we have some more storage in here. And we also have some more storage in here. And this is where the solar panel is and the window insulators I was talking about before. And the ones that I made, the um, ones for the side windows. So yeah, quite a good amount of storage in there. We used to store um, a camping table and two chairs in here. So there's a lot of space. 
So if you have any questions about van builds, about Papai the Bongo, or about bongos in general, then please feel free to comment or drop us a message and we'll get back to you and try and help as best as we can.